Hello dear student I welcome you all in the subject highway engineering and the subject code is 1615504 Today we are going to see unit number 4 that is construction of road payment and material and construction of road payment and material this is lecture number 5 My name is Daniel Swami I am lecturer of James Polytechnic College Aurangabad Bihar Let us see the content of the lecture in road uh, in construction of road payment and material today we are going to see type of soil test for road construction uh, road construction that is bitumen and test on bitumen these are the two topics which we are going to discuss today let us see this uh, bitumen and test on bitumen in detail test on bitumen for pay, uh, payment construction bitumen is the ingredient of or by product of petroleum as we know it is by product of crude oil while refining uh, refining of crude oil we will uh, get bitumen various laboratory tests on bitumen is conducted to check the quality and the different property of bitumen for payment construction there are many types of the bitumen test which is conducted for the uh, construction of pavement bitumen is a black or brown mix of hydro uh, hydrocarbon obtained by partial distillation of crude petroleum as i have told you it is uh, obtained from partial distillation of crude petroleum bitumen is insoluble in water it composed of 87% of carbon and 11% of hydrogen and only 2% of oxygen by weight it of uh, it is obtained in solid or semi solid state it is generally used as surface course of road or roof covering this bitumen material nowadays is used mostly all around the world for making a flexible payment as you can see it is uh, it is called in hindi as pitch road jo pitch road hota hai usi ko kehte hain bitumen payment in this bitumen payment it is used to construct a payment which can be used within 24 hour of time for traffic and this bitumen payment is more helpful uh, for traffic because it can be used in within 24 hour and the construction cost of bitumen payment is lesser than rigid payment test on bitumen uh, to check the quality and the properties for the payment let us see in your syllabus uh, the test was given as ductility test uh, penetration test and softening point test these are the three test which is given in your syllabus and you should study only this three test of bitumen for checking the quality uh, and the properties for payment first is ductility test on bitumen in this ductility test let us see how the test and uh, how it will be used for uh, checking the quality for the payment the property of bitumen which allows it to undergo deformation or elongation is called as ductility of bitumen which means that if bitumen allow to stretch out or allow you to undergo deformation that it can be bent in any shape or size or deform in any size or any shape that is known as ductility of bitumen the ductility of bitumen is measured by the distance in centimeter to which the bitumen specimen will be elongated before breaking when it is pulled by standard specimen to the standard speed and temperature as you can see uh, as you can uh, see here that is it is written that bitumen uh, have ductility property and in this bitumen the ductility will be measured in centimeter that how much deformation is taken place in the bitumen and that ductility uh, the elongation uh, will be measured in centimeter that this much centimeter have elongated before breaking point 
first the bitumen sample is heated uh, to 75 degree to 100 degree celsius and melted completely then it is poured into a assembled mold which is placed on a brass plate to prevent sticking the mold the plate is coated with uh, glycerin and uh, dextrin this will uh, prevent the uh, this will prevent the bitumen to stick in that plate after filling the mold place it at room temperature for 30 to uh, 40 minutes after placing uh, the mold for 30 to 40 minutes then place it in water for 30 minutes to get it hard if you place that mold in water that molten uh, molten uh, bitumen will get harder in solid form then take it out and cut the uh, cut the excessive amount of bitumen which uh, with the help of hot knife and level the surface then place the whole assembly in water bath of ductility machine for 85 to 90, uh, 95 minutes then detach the brass plate and the hook of the mold are fixed to the machine and operate the machine. Machine will pull two clips of the mold horizontally and the, then bitumen will be elongated. The distance, uh, the distance up to the point of breaking from the starting point is noted as the ductility value of bitumen and the minimum value should be 75 mm, uh, centi uh, 75 centimeter. As you can see here, the minimum value of that ductility should be 75 centimeter. This uh, image, uh, this this image shows uh, the ductility test of bitumen, and this ductility test will be checked by elongation of bitumen, as you can see in this image and the experiment done in this image. This image shows how the bitumen will be stretched. At the breaking point, this will uh, this distance will be measured as 75 centimeter, and at least 75 centimeter elongation should be there in bitumen, and that shows the ductility of uh, bitumen. Next is penetration test on bitumen. Before knowing penetration test. I want to tell that bitumen test is one of the major uh, bit, uh, ductility test is one of the major uh, test for testing the bitumen for the capacity of ductility to check how much elongation will be taking place in a bitumen. For that, if we check the ductility, then we can uh, understand that this much elongation and uh, it will help while paving a road in extreme condition of temperature it will be very helpful uh, for the uh, for the upper surface of the uh, upper surface layer of the uh, pavement let us see the uh, penetration test on bitumen the penetration value of bitumen is measured by a distance in tens of mm that uh, that a standard needle would penetrate vertically into bitumen specimen under sta uh, standard condition of test. By this test, we can be determining the hardness and the softening value of bitumen. In this test, first heat the bitumen above its softening point and pour it into the container of depth of at least 15 mm. The bitumen should be stirred up uh, wisely to remove the air bubble. Then cool it at room temperature for 90 minutes and then place it in water for 90 minutes. The penetration test of bitumen is continued here. Then place the container of uh, penetration machine adjust the needle to make contact with the surface of the sample. Make a dial, uh, dial reading 0 and release the needle for exact 5 seconds and note down the penetration value of the needle for 5 seconds. Just repeat the procedure thrice and note down the average value. As you can see in this image, 
this is the penetration testing uh, machine, uh, instrument as you can see this mold here in this mold the bitumen will be uh, filled the hot bitumen will be filled in this mold and it will be kept for 90 minutes in normal temperature after little uh, forming a semi solid it will be placed in a water for uh, forming a solid for after that as you can see in this image here needle is placed and the gas is placed here as it is written there that it is written here that you should uh, make your dial gas reading as zero and release the needle for exact five seconds when you will release your needle for exact five seconds when the and then you you can see the needle will penetrate inside this mold and the penetration of the needle for five seconds note that and if you do uh, two or three times the trial of uh, this experiment for uh, three to four times and after uh, conducting the trial you can take the mean of that trial and you will get the penetration test value of bitumen as you can see in this image the needle content of 100 grams of load and when it is left uh, above the bitumen that is at 25 degrees Celsius that is normal temperature it will uh, penetrate uh, in after 5 seconds the see the penetration value this will be the penetration value that 0.1 mm unit is measured that needle have uh, penetrated inside a bitment as 0.11 0.1 mm this test is used to find the soft uh, capacity penetration test uh, that how much uh, Bitman can bear and uh, bear the load and at what uh, load it can get penetrated inside. Next is softening point of bitman. This softening point on bitman is tested in a lab. The softening point of bitman indicates that point at which bitman attains a particular degree of softening under a specified condition of this test. This softening point by its name it uh, tells that uh, when the bitumen comes at the point uh, the bitumen will become soft and it will be like semi solid. Take a small uh, amount of bitumen sample and heat it up for 75 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Ring and ball apparatus is used to conduct this test. Heat the ring and apply a glycerin to prevent from sticking. Fill the ring with bitumen and remove the excess material with a hot sharp knife. Assemble the apparatus part. All are arranged in a guide position that it uh, that is on top of the bitumen sample and fill the uh, breaker with a boiling distilled water then apply the temperature at degree 5 degree celsius per minute at a certain temperature bitumen soften and the ball slowly moves downward and touch the bottom of the plate and this point is noted that point of softening point in this test is done that ये जो टेस्ट है ये होता है कैसा कि मतलब जो मोल्ड है आपको दिखा सकते हैं ये जो मोल्ड है ये मोल्ड ये जो रिंग है इसमें क्या किया जाता है बिटमेन को भर दिया जाता है ग्लिसरीन लगा के इन दिस मोल्ड द ग्लिसरीन विल बी अप्लाइड एंड दैट बिटमेन विल बी फिल्ड एंड केप द मोल्टेन मोल्टेल बिटवीन विल बी केप इन रूम टेंपरेचर फॉर बिकमिंग सॉलिड फॉर्म एंड देन इट विल बी प्लेस इन वाटर to get uh, more stronger then the uh, extra part of the bitumen will be cut by a sharp knife by hitting the knife if you cut then uh, then the uh, ball uh, steel ball will be placed above the ring and it will be placed inside a uh, uh, if uh, it will be placed on inside a water and that water will be heated uh, 
and um, that water will be heated and the temperature of the water will be measured by the temp uh, by the thermometer as you can see in this image and the and this funnel uh, and this uh, uh, tube will be used for testing of uh, testing of softening point and when the uh, wa water will be boiled that boiled water and the hot water makes the bitumen soft uh, softer and when the ball will be coming from top to bottom that shows the that shows as you can see in this image that shows your uh, bitumen got softened and this is how the bitumen test will be conducted so as i have told you these three tests that softening point test penetration test then ductility test for overview i want to tell that ductility test is used for checking the elongation then penetration test is used to checking the strength of the bitumen that how much its strength have uh, to bear and uh, bear that needle of uh, 100 grams load then the softening point is all about checking the softening of bitumen that will allow the load allow the iron ball load to penetrate uh, to uh, softening point of bitumen as you can see in this image of softening uh, softening point test of bitumen let us see the summary of this content this content highlight about the test type of bitumen test for road construction as we know that for road construction bitumen is used and bitumen is used for more uh, for flexible pavement and in day to day life flexible pavement is used mostly all over the world and bitumen is used in a road construction due to various properties and advantages it have has over other pavement construction material bitumen can uh, gain certain unique property that are in built and it is during its manufacture that bitumen is one of the important uh, material for construction of road and this material will be mostly used for the construction of flexible road because flexible road will be directly uh, laid on or uh, uh, made on uh, the subgrade of the soil and if the subgrade of the soil is proper your bitumen payment will be go for longer and the durability of your bitumen payment will be much more longer let us see the reference from where i have took this topics i have uh, went through online source for these topics uh, that you should study and these are the topics what i have taught you it is given in your syllabus and it is from your fourth unit so you should study properly then i have uh, went through sk kanan book for collecting the uh, material then I have referred Ritu publication book. These are the three reference which I have referred for your uh, for this lecture. Thank you for listening this lecture, guys. If you student, if you have any doubt, you are free to interact with me or contact with me through WhatsApp or mail me. Thank you for listening this lecture.